Today, I'm gonna show you five tips on how you can edit faster. Keep watching. Hey everyone, it's JJ from Wondershare Filmora here to empower your inner video creator. Time is valuable for video creators and we're always looking for ways to save more. In video production, editing is one of the most important stages because it brings your initial idea to life. However, if you have so many different files, sometimes it can feel a little overwhelming and time consuming. To make the process more efficient, I'm gonna share five tips on how you can edit faster. Let's go. Tip number one, organize your media. If you're editing a project with a lot of different elements, it's important to organize your media. That way, you won't waste time looking for missing files and you'll know where everything is. The first step is to watch the files, then create a folder structure that is suitable for your projects. For example, we will create folders for these elements. A-roll, B-roll, photos, audio, sound effect, music, and drone footage. The more specific you are, the easier it'll be to find something. Of course, each project will be organized in its own way and every editor will do it as they see fit. Lastly, the media you import into your project is named after the code given by the camera. So it's a good idea to rename those files that you want to easily find in the future. Tip number two, use proxies. Proxies are low resolution versions of your video files that make large files manageable for your computer. So if you're working with files that are slowing down your playback, like 4K footage, you can use proxies. Let's see how you can do it. To create a proxy for your file, you just have to right click onto your file and then press create proxy file. This will only take a couple of seconds. Then you will see the proxy icon at the bottom left of your clip. Click export when you're done editing and Filmora will export the files in the original resolution. Tip number three, keep video and audio files organized. For tip number three, we will sort out our elements while editing in the timeline. In Filmora, you can add as many video and audio tracks as you want. But we highly recommend that you keep everything in a specific place. For example, you can use video track number one for your main footage, and then video track number two for your B-roll, and video track number three for graphics or text. The same applies to organizing your audio. Create audio track number one for dialogue, audio track number two for music, and more. This tip will greatly help you improve your workflow and become more efficient as an editor. Tip number four, keyboard shortcuts. Shortcuts are keyboard commands that will help you edit faster once you get used to them. Instead of moving and clicking your mouse around, why not hit a specific key to allow you to do an action? Let me show you how to set those up. To find the shortcuts, go to the top and click File. Then press Keyboard Shortcuts, which will open a new window that contains a list of actions and shortcuts. And the best part is that you can customize shortcuts for yourself. Let's say that you want to crop and zoom your clip. There's no need to click on the tool to look for these actions. You can simply press C and that's it. If you want to see the Filmora shortcut user guide in both Windows and Mac, check out the link in the description. Edit in stages. When you are editing, it's normal to take on multiple tasks at once. It's best to avoid this kind of editing process. Stay focused and work on one stage at a time. We recommend to always start by editing the A-roll and then move on to the B-roll. From there, we can color correct, add graphics, music, and then sound effects. Once all the stages have been completed, you can review the whole project and export. Now let's say you're editing your A-roll and find something to fix in the audio. Try not to lose focus by changing stages. Instead, use a marker by simply clicking on the marker icon. Then write a note of the edit that you wish to make once you reach the audio stage. And there you go. With these time-saving tips for video editing, you can now create more projects and enjoy the creative aspects of the process. Do you have any time-saving tips? Let us know in the comment section below. I'd love to hear them. Maybe they'll help me edit faster. Anyways, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel. I'll see you guys next time and keep creating. Bye. Instead of moving and clicking your mouse around, why not hit a specific key to do oh, No! Perform an action. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so funny. Do you miss filming with yeah. me? <laughs>